Aha! Guys, 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 guys. The Premier League is the best league in the world. We have the best product ever. Nobody comes even close. Sit down. Sit down, man. So the Premier League match week 14 lived to expectations. Absolute cinema. A lot of goals, a lot of drama, and we're going to try to summarize. I don't even know where to start, but I made a video yesterday about the games on Saturday. I've already made one video about the games on Sunday, early Sunday. So this one is going to focus more on Sunday late games, if that makes sense. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to leave all the links in the description down below so you can click and watch my other videos. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. It doesn't cost you anything, my friend. It's going to take you one second to do it. Thank you so much. And here we go. Okay, man. Arsenal fans now must be celebrating and thanking Tottenham Hotspurs. We love Tottenham. We love Tottenham. <laughs> That's the song, Arsenal. Instead of saying that we hate Tottenham, you have to say we love Tottenham. Because today, to be honest with you, even me, I didn't believe that Tottenham were going to get the result away because the way they play, they let themselves open. I knew that it was going to be a lot of goals. I said Tottenham to lose 4-2 because they're going to score goals. There is no way Tottenham won't score goals, but they're going to leave themselves open. They don't know how to close the shop, but at the end, 3-3. You have to say that they've been lucky. The refereeing also questionable, but at the end of the day, nobody cares. All right, my people, let me just remind you very quickly what happened today. Sunday, early on, it was Bournemouth 2, Aston Villa 2, Chelsea 3, Brighton 2, Liverpool 4, Fulham 3, West Ham United 1, Crystal Palace 1, and Manchester City 3, Spurs 3. Let's go a little bit and talk about Saturday, right? Saturday. Arsenal 1 against Wolves, 2-1. Brightford, 3. Luton Town, 1. Burnley, 5. Sheffield United, 0. Nottingham Forest, 0. Everton, 1. Newcastle United beat Manchester United, 1-0. All right, my people. So let's continue a little bit here talking about uh, the late games or the games that I didn't really uh, talk a lot in my previous video. 3-3 three, three between Tottenham Hotspurs and Manchester City. Uh, Son actually scored like an own goal or something in the ninth minute. Phil Forden scored 31st minute and Jack Grealish 80 first minute those are the goals for manchester city and the goals for tottenham hotspurs son sixth minute for them 69th minute it was lo celso and 90th minute dejan kuluseski and the incident that we're talking about here is when the referee gave manchester city advantage right and then when Erling Haaland is one-on-one, -on -one, through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, he results. Why can't you just leave the action continue until the end? So this is where the people are complaining. They're not complaining about the entire game because Tottenham deserved to score their three goals. And it was a, a very, very tough game for both teams. But the last minute, probably you could have waited before you... You actually result, but it's gonna bring a lot of controversy. So the referee um, Owen Webb, who is the chief referee, is gonna come up and explain to us what happened. 
and also in the Chelsea game where it was supposed to be like a, a corner kick for Brighton and it was not given. So uh, a lot of explanations to be done, but the referees in this country are not good enough and even the people in the VAR don't want to make their their friends look horrible so they're gonna go along with the decisions but that one was really very very poor decision in my opinion so son was the man of the match from that game and the second one was erling Haaland, and kolosiski came third in the voting system Let's continue, my friend. Statistics. Manchester City had 55%. It wasn't that big difference because Tottenham also are not going to sit back and watch you play game. They are going to play game no matter what. Even 9 against 11, they're going to attack. So, very balanced team in my opinion. Very balanced result. Um, look at this shot on target 4-4 four, four. 18 shot on uh, all together for Manchester City and 8 for Tottenham Hotspurs. It is what it is. I think Arsenal benefit from this result here but don't give up you know Manchester City don't give up until the last minute. It's not over until it's over and I think Arsenal are going to drop point. They're going to lose a few games until the end of the season. So, uh, it's still there, you know. It, it, it's still there. Nobody is going to claim the league, you know, at the beginning of December. Let's talk a little bit about this absolute cinema. Cinema game here between... Liverpool and Fulham. Wow, 4-3. A lot of goals, isn't it? Like seven goal thriller. Burn Leno. It was a, a, an amazing free kick from Trent, but the game the, the goal was given to Burn Leno somehow. I'm not gonna get to the details. McAllister and Endo also scored for them. And Alexander Arno scored the second goal just to close the shop. At some point it was like three three. I'm like, wow. Wow, what a comeback from Fulham. But look at that. They they lost at the end of the day. So for them, Fulham, uh, Wilson scored, Kenny Tete scored, and Bobby, you know, Bobby Reid. That's what I can say. So if you look at some statistics here, you will see that Liverpool had like about 62% possession. They had 12 shots on target. 26 shot altogether, but Fulham almost got away with a point from Anfield Stadium. So until the last minute, if it's not done yet, it's not done yet. Don't celebrate too quickly, my friend. And Trent Alexander Arnold, congratulations because the brother is scoring a lot of important goals for Liverpool. Yeah, very very good game really to watch and. Uh, And I think Nunes need really to improve because he's, he's very complicated to understand. One game, he's going to be good, score some important games, uh, goals here and there. But overall, it looks like he's missing more that, than he's scoring. So, oh, And we see him with a new haircut here. We thought that with the new haircut, he's going to score. But today, wasn't his day? Wasn't his day. So... Anyways, my people, let's go to the table very quickly. Arsenal top of 33 points. There's a cushion of a like couple points between them and Liverpool. Manchester City are third with 30 points. So three points, just one game. One win if they beat Arsenal in the second leg and then they can catch them up. So nothing is done, man. Nothing is done so far. So look at Aston Villa. They are fourth with 29 points. Spurs are fifth. 27 point newcastle are sixth 26 point and you can go on and on chelsea are stuck between 10th and 
and 14 since the beginning of the season they've been you know switching from 10th 11 12th 13 and 14 or at some point they were even 15th so nothing really changed they're still 10th on the table it is what it is